out the hatch. <laughs> it's not that easy. Coming out the hatch. Tuesday, January 3rd. Where are we again? I was gonna say first morning without a rainbow, but we managed to have a rainbow. <laughs> Just amazing. Uh, so now we're in a cove on the north side of St. Martin, the French district. And that's Anguilla over there with some really tall clouds. Looks like we have some weather incoming here up in the sky from the west, down near the ground from the east. And so it should be interesting. But I want to focus more on what's going on out of the tropics across the United States, trying to get my head back in the game. Big picture pattern, storms pummeling the west coast and the one that came ashore late last week is now in the middle of the nation. Flash flood warnings in effect from Virginia all the way across Missouri into Louisiana. What's that, the Missouri River maybe? You don't often see a, a, a continuous flash flood warning for hundreds, almost a thousand miles long. Quite an intense weather system. There's not a lot of cold, but there is enough cold that there are winter storm warnings ahead uh, on the north side of this low pressure system. That low is gonna bring rain to Southern New England. But so let's go to the lightning map. Look at all that lightning across the Southeastern United States. Severe weather outbreak ongoing today and tonight. And there's even some lightning across Nebraska. Is that thunder snow in Nebraska? Maybe a little bit. Uh, so the snow is kind of limited. It's just barely cold enough for snow, as it was on the West Coast. Let's, we were talking last week about how much rain the West Coast was going to get with high snow levels. Looks like over the last three days, five to ten inches of rain from San Francisco to Lake Tahoe. Uh, so there, the reservoirs are in much better shape. And as for that snow lab near Truckee at Donner Pass, yesterday it was snowing seven and a half inches per hour. And since Christmas, we've gone from 165 inches of snow for the season to 211 inches of snow. Again, snow levels very high. And one after another, weather system expected to come into the West Coast. But look what happens. This is the Pacific pattern. The storms are coming under the West Coast and then kind of bouncing off the West Coast and up towards Alaska. That's called a positive Eastern Pacific oscillation. And it is not good for bringing cold to the United States. As a matter of fact, it brings warmth to the United States and more precipitation to the West Coast with just parts of those storms coming across. So those parts of those storms are gonna come across the nation. We get a big part coming in today and tonight. And then tomorrow, we're kind of in a break and there's something different happening in the Eastern Canada provinces than I thought a week ago. Much colder air and high pressure is coming into Ontario and Quebec. And that's going to push down from the north. So we have air in northern New England coming from north central Canada and air in southern New England coming from Florida. A clash of the air masses. So as one low goes into the Gulf of Maine on Wednesday afternoon, the rain will stop, but it's going to change to snow and ice at the Canadian border. And then another wave of low pressure is going to come along in southern New England on Thursday into Friday. And that will be mostly rain. But as the upper level low comes over on Thursday night and Friday, there's still a chance we're gonna end up with some snow all the way into Southern New England. It's really not a done deal at all here as it turns much colder over the weekend. So wave on a warm front, those are always unpredictable, but that's mostly wet today. I think though, we may end up snowing at the Canadian border tomorrow. Let's do the coast to coast snowfall forecast. There it is, more for the Sierra Nevada. And then a little thin line coming across and then right there at the end on day 10, a better chance for some accumulating snow in southern New England. That's way out there, but we have much bigger fish to fry over the next couple of days. Boston now has been a, in a thaw mode since I think about last Friday or so. Although this morning I did see that there are some patches of freezing drizzle and even freezing rain. Oh, here comes the wind. Oh boy, how do I hide from the wind? How about at our breakfast table? <laughs> no, that won't even work. Can I hide from the wind over here? crew probably doesn't want to be on. Hiding from the wind now. We had a little birthday party last night. Played Cards Against Humanity. That was really fun. We're about to have a big breakfast. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of the wind. Continue this forecast or finish the forecast. 
fickle winds for sure. Anyhow, having a lot of fun down here, trying to refocus on the weather. I have to write a JPEG blog today, so I think I'm gonna be optimistic that the most of the rain is done at the Canadian border, but there may be some serious ice over the next couple of days. What else? There's no in more, and I kind of lost track of what I was talking about because of the wind shift. But anyhow, expect surprises. Much colder air is coming into New England after one more warm day. Uh, the air in Boston will be coming from the northeast over the next couple of days, but it's still a very warm air mass. But inland and away from the shore, we can expect some surprises in the ice and the snow category here before the end of the uh, week. Wow, look at these waves way out there. Nice swell. Coming across that swell yesterday three to five feet and we were sitting on the front and I was getting soaked anyhow <laughs> I don't have much more and more maybe I'll just take a couple of beauty shots here and we'll talk to you later I'm gonna have some breakfast and we're gonna explore St. Martin some more today St. Bart's tomorrow see you later Scooby 2 dream yachts for hire incredible beautiful resort those were where I sent some of the highlights from yesterday and the sun is just about to come up over that hill in St. Martin. And there's the captain taking a, a few of the guests to shore for a sunrise hike. I'll be editing in the cabin trying to not get seasick. <laughs> I'm trying to make my edits on a boat, I can admit. I get queasy pretty easily. But I'm also easily impressed. Another morning, another 8 a.m. rainbow off to the west. I don't know, I don't think this can get old. I think it's beautiful. Out the hatch just before seven, the rainbow was over there, over St. Martin. There's a new cloud there now. The clouds are moving from east to west. So is the rainbow. Chasing the rainbow. It's now just about 8.15, bathing suit, flip-flops, and plenty of sunscreen. <laughs> Don't put your camera down for a moment, because you'll miss another one. <laughs>